What are you doing? Oh, I didn't see you guys there. If you guys want to learn how to do a proper tricep dip, we're going to teach you how to do that in this video. Let's jump right into it. As usual guys, we like to start with three common mistakes this exercise to help you learn better. So the first is not knowing the difference between a chest dip and a tricep dip. A lot of people have no clue what they're doing and they just kind of rep it out and hope for the best. So the simplest way to explain this is if you lean back and you get a normal kind of push down movement, which is this, you're gonna be doing a tricep dip. Whereas the second I lean forward and transition, you're gonna get a lot of lower chest work from this movement. So you can use this to your benefit, but it's important that you make sure you know what you're hitting. If you're wanting to hit chest, lean forward, go for it. But if you did chest yesterday and you're trying to heal up, I recommend sitting back, posturing up, and doing that tricep dip. As you guys can see, we're showing the differences right here. So it's very noticeable, one to the two, and it takes some time getting used to both movements, but it's important you just play around, practice, and get to know your dips. All right guys, so number two, the amount of people that haven't earned an actual dip that try to do them is absolutely crazy. If you can get a proper full range of motion and do a full rep, I highly recommend sticking to either a bench dip, bench dip variation, sorry, or actually using the assisted dip. Leave your ego at the door and make sure you're getting proper reps to get the most out of this exercise. Number three is simply, I just like to call it elbow killer. Every time I see this, I cringe, I wince, oh, I hate this so much. Some people actually posture themselves all the way up and they hyperextend that elbow right through through. This is already harsh enough on the elbow. Most tricep movements you're gonna be feeling a little bit there, especially if you have issues with tennis elbow, but when people lock it out hard like this, and they kind of snap it in, that's putting so much stress and strain on that elbow. You're gonna cause an injury, you're gonna cause discomfort, it's not needed. Instead, I recommend getting a full lockout and stopping a couple millimeters, that's the Canadian in me, before full lockout. And as a bonus, this is number four, guys. This is called the shoulder killer. Some people go way too far down low, they'll rest, they'll put a tremendous amount of strain on their shoulder joints, and it's just simply not necessary and will lead to injury down the road. Before we show you guys three variations for muscle gain, you guys can click first link in the description below, a free form guide, it's over 20 pages with every exercise to help you guys out. All right, first variation, we got the assisted dip. This is my personal favorite because you can adjust it based on how fatigued those triceps are. We've all been there where we've crushed them real hard, so we need a little bit of help. This is a great machine for that. Moving into number two, we got none other than the bench dip. There are a ton of variations you can do inside this exercise, so feel free to Google some things, play around, have fun with it. It's a really great kind of build up exercise to get you kind of warmed up to do that full on dip. So if you're a little bit heavier and you need some extra practice, this is how you do it. Number three, this is for the pros only, is the weighted dip. I really wouldn't recommend doing these, so you can do about 15 really clean dips, then you can consider adding weight. When things feel a little bit too easy, you can get some extra resistance on the way down. Okay, so for the 101 on how to do this, it's very simple. So what you're gonna wanna do is have strong positioning. You can decide how comfortable you are with putting it closer or outer. It really depends if you're taller, you're gonna be farther back. If you're shorter, you're gonna be closer in. And that's gonna be where it's most comfortable for you to have your arms to your side. So you can see here, I'm kinda getting that weird flailing going on. Since I'm pretty tall, I'm about 6'2", I like having my hands right here. Then from here, you're gonna jump up. I really like doing this with my legs, if Kyle can show you. So I kinda just like this, because I'm tall. I don't like going too low and hitting the ground here. So when you power up from here, you wanna come down nice and low, just like you would a normal push down from the strong point. I got a good contraction. Power it up, don't go too high, don't walk those elbows like I just taught you. Bring it right here, you get a good contraction, and explode up. Breathing is so important for this. If you breathe, you'll be able to wrap out way more. Do with momentum, but don't use too much momentum. Make sure you're contracting your tricep to get the best results. All right, thanks for giving us a couple minutes of your time. Hopefully we're gonna save you guys some injury, teach you how to do things properly so you can get bigger, faster, make those results as quick as possible. That's what Colossus is all about. So if we helped you out and help us out, if you could smash that like button and subscribe, it means the world. Thanks so much for checking in and we'll see you in the next video. We got a ton of these how-tos, so make sure to check out our channel, go through our playlist to fix your form in any way possible. Peace.